There is word tonight of a potential health concern. Federal health officials are reporting seven cases of a strange new kind of swine flu found so far in California and Texas. Our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. I am calling because I'm very concerned. Um, we have some actual truck. He goes down to the corner of Broadway and Clinton in Albany, New York, at the Department of Homeland Security facility every single evening for loads. He said there are Ray Moore and Flanagan's and J.B. Hunt trucks ahead of him loading that he has taken loads from a silo above Glens Falls. His truck actually was lowered into the ground into a silo when the truck came out of the ground. He was given a shot in his arm to pull to protect his family. He transported um, iced refrigerated loads to the Pentagon, Baltimore, um, Maryland, uh, choose a number. He walks up to a window. He, pre he presents his number. He is taken to a back room and paid in cash. He showed the federal agent $100,000 worth of receipts because he gets $5,000 per load, and he's done Whoa. as many as three loads per day. Know that they gave him a shot to transport it, that they told him it was to protect his family, that it is obviously something that has to be kept refrigerated. Um, the one He did one load for a complete week to Tucson, Arizona, and back, but the amount of money that they're paying him under the table through Bank of America, only loading at night. Also, on the slips that he gets paid, um, it, his slips say 30 Carner Road, Albany, New York, to 11 Ward Lane, Menans, New York. And he stated that he has need, been to neither of those locations, but every single one of his trucking slips for which he gets paid says those addresses. Okay, they'll, tell him, they'll tell him where he's got to go. And he'll be going from point A to point B, and somebody will interrupt the trip and then divert him down a road. Um, he went to Glens Falls, New York, went to a dead-end street by a Stewart's by the Civic Center in Glens Falls, New York. They opened a gate, and he drove six miles on a gravel driveway to an underground silo. When, he, when the truck came out of the silo after he waited with the other truckers for three hours while they loaded in secret, the people who, were, were, who appeared with the truck when the truck was coming out of the ground had Tyvek suits, the masks, the gloves, and all the works on. Mm. Um, he's also transported um, at the 109th Air Guard at Stratton Air Force Base. He did do 90 boxes of clear plastic white fluid. I think that's uh, up to no good. Um, along the New York State Thruway, there are miles and miles of car carriers that they've been adding to. There are has to be 30 miles of them right now sitting on the track since before Christmas. The Thruway, there are miles and miles of car carriers that they've been adding to. There are has to be 30 miles of them right now sitting on the track since before Christmas. The World Health Organization says that at least 57 people have died in Mexico following an outbreak of swine flu, although the Mexican government has said the number of confirmed cases is lower. A mass vaccination campaign has been launched to target the virus, which is believed to have infected more than 800 others. From Mexico City, here's Stephen Gibbs. I spoke to two journalists, one from Mexico City and the other one from Jakarta, Indonesia. And of course, Indonesia had a problem not long ago with bird flu. Uh, both these journalists have been in touch with UN and World Health Organization officials, including a scientist who's dealt with Ebola virus and uh, HIV AIDS in Africa, and it's their conclusion, uh, these scientists who they've spoken to, that uh, this is a very unusual form of flu because it looks like it is a product of some gene splicing. The flu contains elements of bird flu, two forms of human flu, and, uh, and, and, and various forms of swine flu. To them, it doesn't look like this is naturally occurring. The other thing is the target uh, for this flu, as, as opposed to other flus, it's not the very young and the very old, it's people between the ages of 20 and 45. And the other thing is uh, people are not contracting this from pigs. Uh, the National Pork Council here in America says pigs are not being affected. This is human to human contact, so people who either eat pork or are exposed to pigs are not uh, getting this flu. Very unusual, uh, and uh, of course the scientists are very alarmed by the way it's being spread and the, and the speed at which it's being spread. First, we are continuing to closely monitor the emergency cases of the H1N1 flu virus throughout the United States. As I said this morning, this is obviously a very serious situation, and every American should know that their entire government is taking the utmost precautions and preparations. 
Public health officials have recommended that schools with confirmed or suspected cases of this flu strongly consider temporarily closing. And if more schools are forced to close, we've recommended that both parents and businesses think about contingency plans if their children do have to stay home. I've requested an immediate $1.5 billion in emergency funding from Congress to support our ability to monitor and track this virus and to build our supply of antiviral drugs and other equipment. And we will also ensure that those materials get to where they need to be as quickly as possible. I've requested an immediate $1.5 billion drugs and other equipment. $1.5 billion dollars. Billion dollars. Five billion dollars. Drugs and other equipment. Viral drugs and other drugs and other equipment. I've taken the following steps. I confirmed in my statement on Monday that we have built up a significant stockpile of the antiviral drugs Tamiflu and Relenza. Up a significant stock stockpile. Significant stockpile of the antiviral drugs Tamiflu and Relenza. To prepare for this situation, now increase this stockpile to cover 80% of the population. This doesn't mean that we expect anywhere near that number of people to be affected. It does mean that we will have enough antiviral drugs to treat 50 million people and make sure that all frontline NHS staff have their own supplies of antivirals as a preparatory measure. calling because I'm very concerned. Um, we have some actual proof that a trucker may actually be transporting uh, bird flu.